loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's up my name is lisa definitely make sure you subscribe today i'm finally doing a video on my streams of income a lot of you guys wanted to see this after i did the q a video on my social media career so i wrote down literally all the ways that i make money and i'm going to explain it to you i'm not going to be like giving you numbers of like the amount that I make because I feel like that's just really personal but I'm just gonna give you an insight of my streams of income and hopefully it can help some of you out yeah this is my way that I make money on social media so if you are interested in hearing about it then make sure to keep on watching so I have quite a few ways that I make money and I'm first just gonna start off with the ways that I make money on YouTube. I have my notes on my phone, so if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. On YouTube, the first thing that I make money with every single month is Google AdSense. So Google AdSense is basically the ads that you see on my videos and on the side of my videos. When a video is at least eight minutes long, I can add ads into my videos myself. I can put ads at the end of the video, in the beginning of the video. And um, I actually looked up my my, I guess kind of what I make per like view and stuff or per thousand views but this is different every month I don't know how that works who calculates it I have no clue my playback based CPM which is I wrote it down because I don't know this it is cost per mil and tells you how much advertisers paid per thousand monetized playbacks don't ask me what that means um, but my current CPM is 11 euros Again, I don't know how this gets calculated, but that's what it is right now. It definitely fluctuates. Sometimes it's 9, sometimes it's 8. Right now it's quite high. Like 11 is quite high for me. But I also know like it kind of depends on like the kind of videos that you post. Because I know there's certain people that make like 30 euros. And then there's also an RPM, which is revenue per mil. And tells you how much you earned per thousand views. And mine is currently 4, Euro, 4 euros and 48 cents. Um, again, this changes all the time. And I don't know what it means. <laughs> That's the first way that I make money on YouTube is Google AdSense. This is kind of more of a consistent income, I guess. As long as I post like X amount of videos, I kind of know the amount that I'm getting every month. And as long as my CPM is kind of high, like I said, it's 11 euros. Even if I have like lower views, I'll still get quite a good amount every month. So it doesn't fluctuate as much as I used to. Now, even if I get lesser views, my CPM is still quite high, so I get like the same amount. Yeah, so that's the first one, Google AdSense. And then I also um, do sponsorships on YouTube. This video is not sponsored, but you might see some sponsored videos on my channel. And this could either be an integrated video, which means it's like part of the video, so I'll do like 60 seconds, two minutes, something like that. Usually it's quite short. Um, or I do a dedicated video which could be like like a clothing haul with a brand So it's like the whole video is based around the brand and I don't show any competitors I don't promote anything else but the brand that's like dedicated and it does pay more than AdSense Because AdSense really as long as you get a good amount of views every month It's really not gonna pay that much like AdSense is like a very small percentage of my income and that's pretty much the only way that I make money on YouTube I am gonna talk about something else later, which is also kind of part of how I make money on YouTube But it's like a whole separate thing. So I don't want to add it in here but AdSense and sponsorships is um, the ways that I make money on YouTube. Now we're gonna move on to Instagram. So Instagram, I haven't even been doing for that long, like full time, but the only way to make money on Instagram is through sponsorships. There's no AdSense or anything, which is why I have more like sponsored content on Instagram. There's no other way to monetize your content on Instagram. Sponsors could ask for a feed post, for a story, I can do a Reels or an IGTV. IGTVs, I don't really do anymore. I just don't think they're that fun and they're not very effective. Like, I don't feel like people watch that. But reels are obviously new and super fun of like really short videos, kind of like TikTok. Usually brands will ask for like a package deal. So they'll do like a story and a post. Another way you could, this doesn't really make you money, but another thing you can do on Instagram is obviously gifted posts. So you'll get gifted clothes and then you'll post for free. You get the clothes in return. I used to do that in the beginning, but now that I'm quite busy, with like sponsored stuff i don't really do that anymore because i just don't have the time for it and it doesn't make me money as soon as you get to a point where you can consistently do sponsorships i'd recommend 
doing like gifted stuff non-obligation which just means that you can post it if you want to um, but there's no obligation to do that so that's always nice so another way that I make money which I don't do it consistently and it's not a lot it's usually part of a package deal but that is TikTok so I rarely post my TikTok. I think it's only been one brand, but I have had other brands like interested in adding it to the package deal. But sometimes a brand will ask me for like Instagram content and then they also want me to post a TikTok with it. So I have made money from posting TikToks as well, but it's not something I do consistently. I'm also not really sure how well TikTok would pay. I know that you can monetize your TikToks now, but I have no clue how it works. I'd have to look into that, but I just don't post on there very often. I just look at it for comedy. I think there's like a way to monetize your videos on there, kind of similar to YouTube, but I don't quote me on that. I don't know for sure. Like I said earlier, there's another way that I make money on YouTube, which I also use on Instagram, and that is affiliate links. So affiliate linking basically means, let's say this top, right? I got it from like a specific store that store works with an affiliate program I can link the product through the program and whenever someone buys while using my link like they'll buy anything it doesn't you don't even have to buy the exact product but whatever they buy like I'll get like a certain percentage from their purchase amount if that makes sense so there's a lot of different programs that you can use I do this both in Instagram and YouTube like I said on YouTube I'll like put it in the description like let's say I am doing like a week in my outfits I'll try to link as many items as I can through affiliate programs because even though it's usually a very small percentage it does add up when a lot of people use it and especially with those videos like people will click on the link and they'll just buy through there so that's kind of how that works it's like commission and I did write down the platforms that I currently use I don't use all of them a lot but these are the ones that I know of and I'm sure there's more I first started out with magic links I feel like that's the easiest and most used like you can use this on so many like even Walmart works with magic links so you can literally use this for so many websites and brands they pay out pretty fast i i've never missed a payment from them they just pay through paypal and then there's another platform that i started using i'd say like last summer or something and it's called april so this one is european based and i prefer them a lot over magic links which is why i use them more now and they pay out really really fast and their payouts are really good i know with magic links sometimes it can take 60 to 90 days for you to get paid out from like a specific store but with April I get paid out every single month and they haven't missed the payment so they're like great and I feel like the April website is also a bit easier to navigate you can obviously see like which items are selling more like what links were, have sold the most how much your current payment is going to be like what your balance is so it's great I also work with monkey they used to have a different platform which I used for a while and I still have payments coming in from there but they moved to a different one now it's called monkey rep and and on there I whenever I collaborate with them it goes through there but also I can do like affiliate linking through their website and I feel like the old affiliate program from them wasn't doing very well they had a lot of issues with payments and they have a new one now and it's like going okay so again April is like my favorite for payouts because it's annoying when you see an amount and you're just not getting paid yet but I feel like monkey reps doing a lot better so that's another way if you like shopping from monkey Pretty sure you can just sign up. Another platform that I've used a couple of times is Share a Sale. I use this for YesStyle. I think YesStyle also have their own affiliate program, but whenever I was working with them and they were gifting me stuff, they recommended Share a Sale. So I'm not sure how their own program works, but I use Share a Sale for a while. Don't really love the website. I feel like it's very confusing. That's kind of like one of the side ones that i do and another one that's really popular which i use sometimes and not really often is reward style the only reason why i don't like using reward style is because you always have to go through the website to search up products and i prefer just going to a store finding the item and then be being able to just click like a google chrome extension or like adding the link into their generator to create a link but on reward style you have to like search it all up and it's really annoying but i do like using reward style for stores like stock x and i don't even no, this is why I don't use it very often. I also work through Reward Style. You can do like co collaborations on there as well. So I work with Urban Outfitters and Reward Style and Like to Know It kind of go together. Like to Know It is is more of like an app where people can like link their clothes. I don't use it myself. I just use it 
whenever I'm like working with Urban Outfitters, but I use it for Urban Outfitters reward style. And it is quite fun because when you link your socials, brands can reach out to you. If they want to collaborate, they'll send like an agreement and you can work through there as well. So I guess that's kind of a plus side on reward style. But even Magic Links will also have brands reach out to you and on April I've had it done as well. So I feel like those three are probably the biggest and are also great if you're just starting out and you're trying to kind of navigate and collab with brands. It just makes it a bit easier. Yeah, that's affiliate linking. I feel like I talked about that the most because I feel like it's something that a lot of people don't know exists but it's like a super easy way to make money. And it's not a lot, but it definitely helps out. Other source of income is modeling. So I only started doing this recently and I haven't done a whole lot yet because of COVID. Last summer, I did a shoot with Bershka. If you've been following me for a bit, you would know that. And then I recently did a shoot with Snipes and Snipes is most likely going to be kind of like a long-term thing. So I'm expecting to do like more modeling. It's also kind of like, it's more of like a video shoot, but also a photo shoot once. COVID is under control. I'm definitely looking forward to be doing more modeling work. I think that's a really fun way to make money. And also it's just, I don't know, like it helps me grow. It helps with my anxiety and all of that. Like I said, video or photo shoots. And then another part of modeling would be content creation, which is basically just me creating content for a brand and they post it on their socials. It's something that I want to start doing more as well, because I think it's a really nice way to just make extra money. Obviously, with sponsored content you don't want to post sponsored content every single day you want to have some organic posts in between both on youtube and instagram but with content creation you can take on extra sponsors without having to post the content if that makes sense especially if you have like a smaller instagram account but you want to get extra sponsors i feel like that'd be really nice especially if the brand likes your content but you just don't have a huge fan base or a lot of followers content creation can be a really great way to get your face out there first of all on their pages but also just to get some extra money in without having to post everything on your social media accounts so the last way is by selling my clothes i don't do this very often just because i hate having to go through my clothes organize everything take photos but putting my clothes on depop every now and then is a great source of income because obviously i get gifted a lot of clothes and i can't wear it all it's just too much like i keep my favorites and whatever i just don't really wear i will sell because i know a lot of people still enjoy it and i also donate a bunch don't get me wrong i have like four bags four trash bags ready to be donated selling clothes on depop is a great way to make extra money especially when this is your job because i just have too many clothes and i don't need it all so so I actually am going to be putting new stuff up on my Depop. It might already be up when this video is live, but I'll put my Depop in the description and also make sure to follow me on my Instagram because I usually will post in my story if there's new stuff on there. If you are interested in buying some of my clothes, I will have a link down below. But yeah, that's another way that I make money. And I think that's, that's pretty much all. I think YouTube will be like 30%. I think Instagram would be like 45, maybe like 10% affiliate linking. How much do I have left? <laughs> I'm not good at math. Maybe like 10% modeling, like 5% Depop, something like that. I don't know for sure, but I think that's kind of what it is. I definitely make more money on Instagram. I think it's easier to make money on there, especially because it just doesn't take as much time as YouTube content. YouTube content, like most of my time goes into YouTube, but most of the money that I make comes from Instagram. It's kind of sick, but that is all for this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I'm happy to answer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram because I post on there every single day, whether that's on my feed or on my story. I'm always active. And also turn on my post notifications so that you are notified every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.